Hey Tubers, this is RK again and I'm here to do an unboxing review of the Terence Romeo version 1 for PE. So basically this is his first signature shoe which has been uh, raved about in the internet and you've seen a lot of pictures on it and it was released in my birthday December 27. So I, I got a pair um, and I would like to thank Mom Nessie and Elijah for hooking me up from the wonderful people at Peak Street Herbanks. Thank you very much. So basically, um, there has been a lot of uh, talks on where, when will be the release date of this shoe. And now that it's finally here, uh, I hope that this video can make you decide if ever you want to cop a pair. Uh, for those who don't know me, I've been a Terrence Romeo fan since 2011 till present day, since his FEU day. So uh, this shoe uh, is a must have for me. So, um, the first colorway that came out is uh, the red colorway because as we all know, Terence loves uh, the Kobe red. So, eventually, uh, for the University Red, they said that uh, this model would uh, look or have the same features like this one because uh, being a signature shoe, uh, this should cater to what the athletes prefer them to wear. Uh, I might not be able to do a performance review on this one because I really want to have a pair that I can display because for the Rising Star series, I still have one uh, pair that I haven't worn and uh, I'm planning to have it displayed soon. So um, later on, I'll explain why uh, I may not be able to do a performance review. So this is just an unboxing review to uh, check uh, if you really like the tech specification. So without further ado, let's open the box. Here it is. So if you can see the back side in the heel counter, there's um, an inscript that says Romeo. And then at the front part in the tongue, there's the TR7 logo, which is the same as the one in the box. So I'm, I'm gonna look at uh, the text specifications that has been posted in the website. So they say that it has a woven knit upper unit, which is breathable. So in comparison to uh, the University Red, uh, it seems to be the same material because as we all know, woven uh, materials will make the shoe lighter and have a sock-like feel. Then they claim to have a multi-directional traction. And actually, uh, the traction pattern for this shoe looks like um, it can last outdoors. Uh, with my experience with the peak models I've tried, the Tony Parkers and uh, the Rising Star, uh, it has an aggressive tra uh, traction pattern and it will really keep you low to the ground. One um, feature that uh, is noticed, uh, has been said to, with this one is it has a cushion midsole which is uh, made of light EVA so it's more for impact protection. So that's a good feature that if you have something with good traction and um, your landing, a, a good cushion uh, midsole would help you in those if you make a jump shot and then you land. It, it's very good for that one. And it has a stability plate unit for increased support. So uh, on top of the cushion midsole uh, and the sectional upper cushion for um, ankle, uh, for protection of your ankles. And they say that it has an independent lace system. So I tried this on in the store and the lockdown for the leasing uh, system is okay. However, you may have difficulty with the sizing. So, uh, of course, uh, Peak has been known for um, its weird sizing ways because it was uh, manufactured in China. So the problem with this one is the size 43 is a 9.5, size 44 is a size 10, which is this one, and size 45 is a size 11. So this would uh, fall onto a matter of preference. You may want to go a half a size down. However, there is no size down from from nine nine, which is a forty uh, two downwards. So 
the, this, the, si uh, the half size only falls on the 9.5 to 10. So this is going to be crucial on your purchase because if you like a really, really snug fit, I would suggest that you would go with the 43 or the 9.5. However, if you want, if you're uh, wearing thick socks when you're playing, and you may want to go with the 44, since a lot of us would actually fall on this size range, because uh, this is run, running a size bigger. Uh, it's the same like my Tony Parker light. You would really feel that there, uh, there could be some slip up issues. Uh, I, I'm not really sure yet if the independent lace system, uh, which is featured in this shoe, would help with uh, re uh, relieve that. And then, yeah, so there, it's initial sizing. Now for the price, it's retail now at 4895 And I know that a lot of people are discouraged by the price because uh, if you're just going to add a couple more pesos, you could have uh, gotten um, a Dame Lillard, a Kyrie Irving, or one of those uh, other signature models. But you have to note that um, this is a signature shoe in itself and it features a lot of technology. If it has what they say in the cushion midsole and attraction in itself, that's, that's an already added feature. Or even so, it is in the same range of the cushion 3 or gradient jewel, uh, which is also present in the Tony Parker line. I do understand that a lot of people are ranting about, ah, oh, he's just a local star. But of course, uh, you have to note that um, being a signature shoe, and you would expect a lot of technology on the uh, product, you'd have to pay premium uh, for, for that as well. You can't expect a premium product and you know, uh, you're just gonna pay a price. And I do understand the logic that, yes, he is a local star, but he, uh, but the, the company is a global brand in itself. And yeah, um, you, we have to check whether or not uh, for performance this would really hold up on court. But based on the technology that uh, is being said on the Peak website, um, you can tell that uh, it's been well thought of and it really took a year uh, for them to be able to come up with this product. What I do really like is the aesthetics on it. Uh, I like the red uh, part, uh, the woven upper part. And then, of course, I do like the uh, two-tone on the uh, traction system. Uh, I feel that it's the, the shoe is very light. I also like the, uh, the logo. I'm a big fan of the logo. Uh, the initials TR and then the red highlight of 7 because as we all know uh, Terence Romeo is a big fan of um, red shoes. I know that the, the shoe will come in two variants of black and we'd have to um, look in the website or the Facebook page when it will come out soon. So if you also want to look at the previous review that I've done with uh, Rising Star, I did a performance review with that one. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box below. So there you have it. I hope you like uh, my unboxing video and I hope that this would, um, you know, um, help on your decision if you uh, want to purchase this pair. Alright? So I'll see you guys again soon and have a good day.